Peanut butter? Thanks. Wait, aren't you allergic to peanuts? No. <laughs> you're allergic to peanuts. Any last words? I'm pretty sure you're allergic to peanuts. Oh, you know what it is? We're both allergic to peanuts. Oh! <laughs> oh. What's wrong? It's gone. What is? My tarantula. Okay, was it in the jar when we left the house? Well, yeah, I was just feeding it. Doris, find the spider. Paul, I'm trying. Doris? Don't stress me, sweetie. Uh, where were you feeding it? On the sea. I have a phobia for spiders, you know this. Paul, just calm down. Oh, God, oh, man. Look under your seat. Oh, Look under God. daddy's seat. Oh, man. It did, it's not there. Oh, Sweet, does it have God. a name? What can we call oh, it? Man. Oh, God. Fred, okay, oh, Fred. Fred. Oh, Fred. Give me a Fred. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, Fred. man. Oh, God. We finally found Fred, and we've managed to put him back in the jar with chopsticks, which is how I was able to bring him here to show everyone today. Oh. All right, class, let's do an icebreaker. Let's go in a circle, say what you want to be when you grow up, starting with Timmy. I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be dead like both of my parents. Okay, let's take out our books. Let's do some reading. What's up? We're just going to act like he didn't just say that? Hello? Okay, what do you want me to do? Call his parents? Hey, good morning, Mom. Mom? Uh, are, are you okay? Good morning, sweetie. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were <laughs> I thought you were mad or something. You didn't take the trash out last night. No, I didn't. Well, you're probably just tired from school. Yeah, that's true. But it's summer vacation. That is also true. We all make mistakes sometimes. Give me a hug. You're hugging a little tight, Mom. But you never took the chicken out the freezer. One thing I hate is when people are like, Do you like them? Ooh, you're blushing. You do. Like, no, you cold corn dog. I'm blushing because you're embarrassing me and making me feel uncomfortable. Gosh. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dad. Uh, I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to play some catch later. Sorry, buddy. I'm just about to make a call. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, Pops, listen. How about a game of catch this weekend? What do you mean you're busy? Well, I don't want to play with him either, but he's got no friends. I am a genie. You have three wishes. Wow, I have the perfect wish. So this is my girlfriend, and she's blind, but we've been together a long time, and I just wish she could see the world. So I wish my girlfriend could see. You know what? That's a pretty good wish. Done. Wow! Well, wait, Gabe, that's what you look like? <laughs> you are not my type. Ooh, he's cute though. What's your name? Hi, I'm the genie. I'm Katie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are you doing later? I am a genie. You have three wishes. No way! Oh, I got the perfect wish. Okay. Okay, so I wish that every time I reach in my pocket, I pull out a hundred dollars. All right. Yes! All right, let's see. Oh, it works. Wait, someone broke into my house. I'm calling the police. Jean was a prankster, and I'm sure we will all fondly remember her knack for practical jokes. Well, I've remembered this one time. Ew. Oh, Did you just fart on my you wife? On my Did you just shit on your grandmother? I'm proud of you, son. What? No, that wasn't me. I didn't fart. Oh, Grandma, you bitch! I want to tell him how I feel, but I have this bad habit of always getting nervous and changing the subject. Calm yourself down, and then ask him if he wants to hang out this weekend. Okay, fine, yeah. Hey, Peyton, I have a question. Do you think your grandma suffered when she died? in the living room. Can you come kill it? Honey, just kill it. It's a spider. He's looking at me right now. We are making eye contact. Take your shoe off and whack it with your shoe. Honey, he can hear you. He can understand what's going on. He is hyper aware of what's going on right now. Don't be dramatic, dear. It's a spider. Stay back. Stay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to scare you. Honey, just kill it. You don't understand what's going on, okay? Please, <laughs> missus. Please don't kill me. British. I have 300 children and another 169 on the way. I, I'm not sure if that makes me want to kill you more or kill you less. Please don't squish me. 
I'm a simple spider. Are you seriously talking to the spider? You have no idea what's going on, okay? He's a... Shit! Holy shit! Honey, there's a huge spider in here! Please, mister, I have 300 children. Is that a pistol? Oh, God, me help! Help me! Do a bunch of sun. He blew up the whole school. He killed all the staffs, all the students. Hold up real quick. My student asking me something. Take your ass back to your fucking desk. Okay. Yeah, but um, he blew up the whole school. He killed me. I'm dead. I can't even talk. He ripped out my vocal cord from my neck. I can't say a word. He even killed himself. I'm looking at your son dead right now. How did I kill me on the phone? How he lying? So the teacher motherfucking lying? Huh? Where the hell have you been? Went for a drink with my brother. Liar! Prove it! Because he's here in bed with me! So who is this slut you've been seeing? Well, I ask you this, Your Honor. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> but that doesn't quite add up. Why would the chicken need to cross the road? It has no motive. Unless... The chicken is the killer. <gasps> Oh shit, that's a dope ass fucking car, bro. How much is it? I don't know. New? That's not how you say it. Then how do you say it then? It's I don't knowing. Bro, it's not I don't knew or I don't knowing. Then what is it then? I don't know. You fucking dumbass. If you didn't know, shut the fuck up then. I can't believe you got another girl pregnant. You should learn from your brother Chris. He parties every weekend and has gotten zero girls pregnant. Chris tell your brother how you stay safe. I f*** guys. Hey guys, welcome to our All You Can Eat Buffet. Now remember children under the age of 8 do eat for free, so- Oh, oh, it's a perfect, okay. My son also is a 7. What? Dad, I'm 23. Sir, your son is clearly an adult Asian man. My son is a 7, okay? Ask him! Ask him if he's a seven. Okay, um, are you seven? <sighs> yeah, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm seven. Hi, <laughs> he free, okay? Yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck this job. It's a boy. Wait, why isn't he crying? Oh, can I see him? Congratulations, my- What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> that was the Antichrist. That was definitely the Antichrist. That was not normal. A man walks up to a bartender and says, I bet you $5,000 I can pee in a cup across your bar without missing. The bartender doesn't think this is possible, so he takes the bet. So the man starts peeing and the pee goes all over the bar, it even goes over the bartender, but nowhere near the cup. So the bartender starts cheering, knowing he just won $5,000. So the man walks over to his friend, then walks over to the bartender and pays him his $5,000. The bartender asks him, why are you so happy you just lost $5,000? Well, I bet my friend $10,000 that I could pee all over your bar and you and you would still cheer. A young boy enters a barber shop and the barber whispers to his customer, This is the dumbest kid in the world. Watch while I prove it to you. The barber puts a dollar in one hand, two quarters in the other, and calls the boy over and asks, Which one do you want? The young boy takes the quarters and leaves. The barber tells his customer, What did I tell you? That kid never learns. The customer leaves and sees the same young boy walking out the ice cream store. He walks up to the young boy and asks him, why did you take the quarters instead of the dollar bill? The young boy looks at him, smiles, and says, Because the day I take the dollar bill, the game is over. A blind guy enters a bar and orders a drink. After sitting there for a while, he yells towards the bartender, Hey, do you want to hear a blonde joke? The bar immediately becomes quiet, and in a husky deep voice, the woman next to him says, Before you tell that joke, you should know something. The bartender is blonde, the bouncer is blonde, and I'm a six foot tall, 200 pound blonde with a black belt and karate. Even more, the fella sitting next to me is blonde and he's a weightlifter. Lastly, the woman to your right is blonde and she's a pro wrestler. Think about it, mister. Do you still want to tell that blonde joke? The blind man says no, not if I'm going to have to explain it five times. Mother asks her sons, what do you guys want for breakfast? One son says, I'll have some fucking pancakes. And she gets mad and says, go to your room. She looks at the other son and says, what do you want for breakfast? And he says, I sure as hell don't want the fucking pancakes. I told my wife, I think you're drawing your eyebrows too high, and she looked at me really surprised. A couple is walking down the road when they see a drunk man dancing. The wife says, look at that drunk man over there. The husband asks, who is he? The wife says, 10 years back, he proposed to me and I rejected him. The husband smiles and says, oh my god, he's still celebrating. My wife packed my bags and said, you need to leave, we're done. As I was walking out the door, I heard her scream, 
I wish you a slow and painful death, you bastard. I looked at her and said, what, now you want me to stay? And a man tells his date, I work with animals. And she said, I love a man that cares about animals. Where do you work? And with a grin on his face, he said, I'm a butcher. The other day, my wife asked me, can you pass me my lipstick? And I accidentally passed her the glue stick. She's still not talking to me. Anytime I'm at a wedding, my older relatives will tease me and say, you're next. So I started going up to them at funerals and doing the same thing. I was at my therapist and he said, don't worry, time heals all wounds. So I got up and stabbed him. Several men are in the locker room of a golf club when a cell phone rings. One of the men answers it, puts it on speaker, and everybody stops to listen. Hello? Honey, it's me. Are you at the club? Yes. I'm at the mall right now and I found this beautiful leather coat. It's only $1,000. Can I get it? Sure, go ahead if you like it that much. I also stopped by the Porsche dealership and saw the new 2021 models. I saw one I really liked. How much is it? $200,000. Okay, but for that price, I want the one with all the options. That's great. Oh, one more thing. The house I liked last year is back on the market for $950,000. Okay, then go ahead and give them an offer of $900,000. They'll probably take it. If they don't, we'll give them the extra $50,000 if you really want the house. Okay, baby. I'll see you later. I love you so much. Bye, honey. Love you too. The man hangs up the phone. The other men in the locker room are staring at him with astonishment. The man turns to them and says, does anyone know who this phone belongs to? Two friends are out in the woods hunting when one of them suddenly collapses. He's not breathing and his eyes start rolling into the back of his head. His other friend starts panicking, pulls out his phone, and calls 911. He yells at the operator, I think my friend is dead, what can I do? The operator says, sir, I need you to calm down. First, let's make sure he's dead. It's silent for a moment and then the operator hears a loud gunshot. ra ta 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 The man picks the phone back up and says, now what? A man is having a hard time finding a parking spot when he starts to pray. Oh Lord, if you can help me find a parking spot, I promise I'll stop drinking and I'll start going to church. Out of nowhere, the sun shines on an empty parking spot and without any hesitation, he says, never mind, I just found one. A doctor tells his patient he only has 10 to live. The patient says, 10 what? 10 weeks? 10 months? The doctor says, 9, 8. Two friends are driving home when one friend says, hey, can you check if my indicator lights are working? So the other friend sticks his head out the window and he says, yes, no, yes. No. I was on a bus yesterday when I suddenly realized I had to pass gas. The music was really loud, so I tried to time my farts with the beats. <laughs> After a couple songs, I started to feel better until I looked up and realized everybody was looking at me. Then I remembered I was listening to music through my headphones. I'm never riding this bus again. The man goes to a bar and gets so drunk, he pukes all over himself. He starts panicking because he thinks his wife is going to leave him because of this. A man at the bar tells him, just tell your wife somebody else puked on you, and they put $20 in your shirt pocket to cover the cleaning. The man thinks that's a great idea and decides to give it a try. The guy makes it home and goes straight to the bathroom to get cleaned up. His wife finds the dirty clothes with vomit all over them and goes to confront him. She asked him, what is all this? He said, some guy puked all over me and gave me $20 for the cleaning bill. It should still be there. Go ahead and check it. The wife pulls some cash out of his pocket and she says, Honey, there's $40 in here. The man is confused for a second and then he says, Oh yeah, that same guy, he crapped in my pants. Four men are at a high school reunion catching up when one of them had to go to the bathroom. The other three start talking about how successful their sons are. My son is so successful. He owns a car dealership and just gave his best friend a Ferrari. That's nothing. My son owns an airliner and just gave his best friend a private jet. Yeah, well, my son is more successful than that. He owns an architectural firm, and he just gave his best friend his own castle. The fourth guy comes back from the bathroom and asks, What are you guys talking about? Oh, we're talking about how successful our sons are. Well, my son is a gay stripper. Wow, you must be disappointed with what he's done with his life. Actually, he's doing pretty well for himself. He just got a Ferrari, a jet, and a castle from his three boyfriends. A boy and a girl are talking and the boy says, I hate this new principal, he's so dumb. The girl says, do you know who I am? I'm the principal's daughter. So the boy replies, do you know who I am? She said, no. And he says, good, and walks away. One day a teacher asked the class, anyone who thinks they're stupid, please stand up. One little boy stands up and the teacher asked him, why do you think you're stupid? And he said, I don't, I just hate to see you standing there alone. I walked up to my wife and said, I have a problem. She said, no, we have a problem. We're married and we're a couple. Your problem is my problem. Overwhelmed with relief, I said, you know what? It's hardly worth mentioning now. But she insisted on knowing what the problem is. So I had to explain to her that we got her sister pregnant. 
A woman wakes up in the middle of the night to realize her husband's not in bed with her. So she puts on her slippers and goes downstairs to look for him. She finds him sitting at the kitchen table and he appears to be in deep thought staring at the wall. She watches as he wipes a tear from his eyes and she said, What's the matter, honey? Why are you down here at this time of night? The husband looks away from the wall and says, It's the 20th anniversary of when we met, honey. The wife can't believe he remembers and she starts to tear up. The husband says, Do you remember 20 years ago when we started dating? I was 18 and you were only 15? With a smile on her face, the wife says, Yes, I remember. The husband says, Do you remember when your father caught us in the backseat of my car? With a confused look on her face, she says, yeah, I remember. Do you remember when you shoved the shotgun in my face and said you either marry my daughter or I'll make sure you spend the next 20 years in prison? The wife is embarrassed and she softly says, yeah, I remember that. The husband wipes another tear from his cheek and he says, I would have gotten out today. Hey, so I just had this weird dream and I thought I should tell you because it felt so real. You were sleeping with my girlfriend and then you also had this weird thing where you, you kept putting Lego in your mouth. That's so weird. If you press that button, you will receive one million dollars, but someone that you don't know will die. If I press it more than once, do I get more money? Well, yes, but then more people- Nurse, my dick hurt. I know you're in pain, but let's not use that language, please, young man. No, it's my friend Richard. Help me, nurse, I'm in pain. Oh gosh, okay, calm down, what's the problem? My dick hurt, nurse! Four men are in the hospital waiting room because their wives are having babies. A nurse goes up to the first guy and says, Congratulations, you're a father of twins. The man says that's a crazy coincidence, I work for the Minnesota Twins. The nurse says to the second guy, Congratulations, you're the father of triplets. The man says that's a crazy coincidence, I work for the 3M company. The nurse tells the third guy, Congratulations, you're the father of quadruplets. The man says that's a strange coincidence, I work for the Four Seasons Hotel. The last man is freaking out and banging his head against the wall. The nurse asked him, What's wrong, are you okay? He said, No, I'm screwed. I work for 7up. Your leg get cut off. Would it hurt? Duh. How though? Cause your leg got cut off, fool. Where you gonna feel the pain? In your leg. Exactly, bruh. How you gonna feel the pain in your leg if your, your leg, leg is, is gone? gone? You have one more wish. One more wish? I, I, I don't even know what to think of. Dude, think of all the good we could do with this one wish. World peace, end world hunger, no more war? You're right. Genie, I'm ready for my last wish. Go on. I wish for an anime girlfriend. Wow, our prisoners are doing great this week. We should, we should give them a Christmas present. Like, I don't know. Candy canes or candy canes? No, what? <laughs> You're gonna spike their blood sugar. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, how about sugar-free candy canes? That's a great idea. Yeah, you, you are sharp, dude. <laughs> hey, babe, can we talk for a second? Uh, Jerry, I'm gonna have to call you back. What is it, babe? There's something I need to tell you. What's going on? I'm pregnant. Hi, pregnant. I'm dad. <laughs> that's the funny thing. You're not. <laughs> What? Who's the father? Jerry's the father. Hi, uh, can I get one ticket for the movie? Yeah, of course. Which one? The movie. Oh, okay. Um, are you dumb on purpose? No. Then which movie do you want to see? The movie! Right there! I asked you which one did you want to see? This one or this one? The movie too. Are you dumb on purpose? Oh! Okay, um, well, you know what? Fuck you. Excuse me? Fuck you. The prequel to the movie. Fuck you, I excuse me. The sequel to the prequel to the movie. Do you think you learned your lesson now? Mm hmm yeah, for sure. Kids shows are not to be messed with. Hey guys, what you watching? Oh, we're just watching Peppa Pig. Jeez, guys, uh, isn't this show for babies? <laughs> Don't say it. Say what? Babies? Uh, why is that funny looking fella looking at me? She's coming for you. Oh. I'm Peppa Pig! Yeah! Derek, how was your test today? Not too bad. I got an F. That's, that's bad. Okay, then bad. Pretty bad. So you failed your test? Yep, and then Miss Henson gonna say she wanna have a one-on-one -on -one with me. Oh. Okay, so she wants fight to fight me. What? She wants to fight me. No, she wants to have a she wants to sit down and teach you. She wants to go over the lesson one on one. Oh. I pushed her old ass down the stairs. Holy shit. Oh man. She never got up. She never got up. 
What's up, bro? How's it going? Uh, not doing so good. My, uh, grandma just passed away. I I'm so sorry, man. I, I didn't know. You're good, bro. You're good. Did she live a long life? Not really. She was only 69. She died yesterday at 4.20 p.m. <laughs> Hold up. You're laughing? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, so you think this is funny. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Have a great day. I want to divorce! Oh my god! What did I just fucking tell you? Remember, sir, there's no right or wrong answers, okay? All right, all right, first image. <laughs> Do you find her attractive or not? How old is she? No, 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 why would that matter, sir? I'm gonna say no. She's, uh, clearly too young. All right. Surely she's gotta be underage. A minor. Last image. Now that's, that's attractive. That's, that's attractive. That's a child, sir! And she's 12! <laughs> she has a birth defect! Feeling carsick. I sentence you to jazz! No! Hey man, what the- Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? Level up! Somebody help me, I'm being robbed! I'll save you! Tree powers activate! Die, potato! Yes. So what are you gonna be for Halloween? I'm thinking Batman, you? How about I show you? Oh, sure. Okay. Huh? Milk? Why milk? Because maybe it'll lure my dad to come back home. I, I don't think that's gonna work. Yes, he will. My dad left to get the milk and he couldn't find it. Now I'm the milk, so he's gonna come back. Bro, he's not coming. No, you're wrong. Dad, I'm milk. Come here. I'm milk. Son? Dad? Son! <laughs> Dad! What the fuck? Have you seen the baby? No, I think he got outside. You fool. No, 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 that means, ah! I am depressed. Suddenly, pineapples. This does not help. No, Susie, don't walk in the road. Look, Mom, I made it. I am a stegosaurus. Invisible Billy Adventures. Hey, Billy, catch the frisbee. B Billy? Grandpa, Grandpa! What's that, Sonny? I hit a home run at T-Ball today. Well, that's just wonderful. Remember to clean the dirt off your cleats. And then the coach told me to tell you he swears he'll get you the money by Tuesday. Oh, well, don't pay no mind to that, coach. He's just joking around. And then after the game, I saw scary men throw coach in a van. They said they worked for you. Oh, that sure is strange. And then I followed the van, and it led to a big warehouse that had a bunch of white powder. It must have smelled really good, because people were putting it in their noses. You shouldn't be... You shouldn't be going to strange warehouses now. And then I saw the coach sleeping in a ditch full of ketchup, and then his wife walked up to me and said I look a lot like her illegitimate son. Well, what'd you do? I brought him! Daddy! Daddy! What's that, Sonny? Our call is important, uh, and we will connect you with the next available agent. Ugh, it's been over an hour. These guys are the worst. Maybe you're the worst. Aren't you a pre-recording? Uh, aren't you a jerk? I mean, I, I, I didn't mean it personally. Everything's about you, you, you. I mean, it's been over an hour. Oh, it's you, you, you. It's just you with a baby voice, because you're, you're being a little baby. Hey, now you're being mean. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry to hear that. How dare you say that about my mother? Sorry, this, this is all pre-recorded. You didn't say anything about my mom, did you? Speeches in anime always be like, You don't have enough power to stop me! <laughs> For all of my life. Wait, how are you standing up? I've always been called weak. First my father. You're too weak, son. Then my grandma. You're weak, grandbaby. And even my own dog. You're weak, bark bark. And I almost believe them. But thanks to all the friends I've made, I've realized that friendship is my true power! How did you get so strong? Hey, don't look now, but the guy behind us has been staring at us for a while now. Who? Hey, I just said don't look! Oh, yeah. Uh, what the hell? It's reverse psychology. When I looked at him the second time, it undid when I looked at him the first time. That's not how that works. My dad used that trick when he beat me. That's, that's horrible. The second time was an apology for the first time. Okay, that's it. My dad had a weird way of expressing- S things. Seriously? Stop. 
This guy can't be good news. He's been staring way too long. What should we do? I say we strike him before he strikes us. Agreed. All right, three, two, one, go. Hey, what the hell? Have mercy! Oh. Wow, that was easy. Um, I think he might have been sleeping. Uh, what well, makes you say that? Look at his computer. Hey, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. Mom, today the kids at school were bullying me. Oh, sweetie, what? Who? Why? Because I made a card for a girl I like and- Ew, what? Simp? Simp? <gasps> You're grounded. Oh shit, that's a dope ass fucking car, bro. How much is it? I don't knew. New? That's not how you say it. Then how do you say it then? It's I don't knowing. Bro, it's not I don't knew or I don't knowing. Then what is it then? I don't know. You fucking dumbass. If you didn't know, shut the fuck up then. Hi, I'm here for the job interview. Perfect, take a seat. Here's the situation. The police just entered the building, so we'll be in this room in about 30 seconds. So this is a one-time only job offer. See him? That's Bob. Bob's a piece of shit. That right, Bob. <laughs> F you, Bob. Why is he tied up? We don't have time for you to talk. Bob is our accountant. Bob is also my brother-in-law. He cheated on my sister, so he'll do whatever I tell him to. Here, Bob, draw a penis on your face. Bob also embezzled a million dollars from the government last year in tax fraud, vis-a-vis -vis cops downstairs. Now the thing is, I need Bob. I need Bob bad. I can blackmail him to do whatever I want, so I want to keep Bob around. But I still need a fall guy. Ignore them. Eyes. Right here. Here's the job. You take the fall, you go to jail for a year. Cushy jail, though, not murder jail. You play tennis, do therapy, get real good at chess. And at the end of one year, you're let out and we pay you $500,000. You got five seconds to choose. Five, four, um, three, two, I'll do it. one. Bingo. He's in here. <laughs> Did he say yes? We got a new employee. I like your initiative, kid. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> looking it up on your laptop, all right? <laughs> the battery's dead. I'll look it up on my phone. <laughs> Dad, I know this doesn't look good, but you gotta trust me, I can explain. Yo, wanna ding dong ditch a completely random house? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Which one should we do? Uh, let's do that one. Well, bud, doesn't look like anyone's gonna show up to your birthday party this year. Again. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Hey, but maybe next year. Yeah, probably not. But hey, at least we got all this birthday cake to ourselves now, right? Yeah, that's true, I guess. And you did get chocolate cake again this year. I'm still allergic to chocolate, but yeah. All right, you get three wishes, but there's three rules. No bring anybody back from the dead, no making anybody fall in love with you, and I can't kill nobody. Wish spiders had wings. There's four rules. Hey, teacher. When are we actually gonna use any of this? You? <laughs> Never. Well, I guess it's time to make that call. Please don't pick up, 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 please don't pick up. Hey, Aunt Patty! Why didn't you just let me go to voicemail? Um Hi, look, it says gullible on the ceiling. Very funny. No, it does. Have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm serious. It says gullible. I'm not falling for I'm it. I'm not joking. It actually says gullible. Just drop it, all right? I swear to God, just have a look. I'm not looking. Just have a look. No! I think we need a break up. What? Hey, are you, are you okay? Um, I talked to Ah, oh, fuck, this is awkward. Like, what do I say? Fuck, I'm so sorry, or that must be so hard for you? Fuck, I'm so hard for you. God, what the fuck? Top six ways to tell your friend you're in love with them. Number one, take him for a drive. This way, the setting is just you and him, and the intimacy is at an all-time high. What? What's going on? Ask him to create something with you, whether it's a video, a TikTok, a song, any sort of creative thing will get the juices flowing. I don't, I don't, what am I 
Yeah. Number five, when the scene is set, it's time to make your move. Just go for it. Put all the balls on the table and just go for it. Hey, whoa, hey, Max, what are you, hey? And just like that, you're in love. Because it worked. Because it worked. Let's start with you. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Diego. Hi, hi Diego. Diego. Tell us about the last time you felt anxious or uncomfortable. About five seconds ago, when you asked me my name. Tell us about the last time you felt relaxed and at ease. Um, like ten minutes ago, when I was not here. Do you often find yourself having trouble talking to strangers? Not really, no. Just mainly scary white ladies asking me questions. I see. Why white ladies? Because they're scary. And why are they scary? Because they're white. Thank you for sharing, Diego. I think that was extremely rude. Interesting. And what's your name? Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I think it's so unfair to make such a bold generalization. I happen to be kind, smart, and extremely humble. So keep your offensive thoughts to yourself, okay, buddy? Yeah, like I said, scary. Go up to your dad right now and see if you can name three of your friends. Hey, Dad! Name three of my friends. He's not coming back. I know. And I don't think you have three friends. Mom! Mama, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Son, don't say that. We're not gonna let this COVID take you away, alright? You, you, you will have to fight. Please fight for me. Okay, Mama. Alright, I'll fight for you. Thank you. What's this I hear about you missing 81 days of school? Uh-uh, don't die. Don't die. Don't Okay, sir, you are here for the daycare job. Uh, first question. Okay. <clears throat> Do you like kids? I love them. Okay, that's enough questions. Um, you can you can leave now and, and we'll give you a call. Hey, Mom, do you need any help with the dishes? No, it's fine. I got it. Okay. You know what? No one ever helps me this house. If I wasn't here, nothing would get done. How's it making it? I fucking asked you if you needed help! Johnny and Marissa sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes an abrupt and tragic miscarriage, then comes blame, then comes despair. Two hearts damaged beyond repair. Johnny leaves Marissa and takes the tree. D I V O R C E. And now it's your turn. Let's see what your fortune is. Uh, that's weird. I I think this is a misprint or something. This because. Uh... Hey, Mom. This is an intervention, Jacob. Yeah, but how do you know? Hello. I'm inside your house. Okay. Yellow. Why did you hang up? Why did you hang up on me? If you're inside my house, just come talk to me. I'm in the closet. <laughs> oh, you're gay. That's cool. No, I'm not gay. I. No, no, no. It's it's all right. My cousin's gay. No, I'm not gay. I'm literally in your closet. Wait, really? <laughs> Who is this? Come find out. Where are you? Are you stupid or something? I just said I'm in your closet. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're getting closer. I told you I was in the closet. Oh, you haven't told anyone you're gay yet? No, dude, I'm not gay! Wait, so what are you doing here? I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty, and I was just wondering if I- Does anybody else have anything they want to say to Brother Don? <laughs> I'll go. Hey, Don, this is your classmate, Judy. And honestly, I kind of liked that you, and you always nice, and to be honest, if you were still alive, I'd probably let you hit right now. And oh, oh whoa, shit. Whoa, whoa, what's he doing? Uh-uh, girl, he up now. He's back from the dead. Now it's time to give him- I'm gonna fucking do it. Ah, what a beautiful view. Don't do it! Huh? Don't jump! You have too much to live for! I'm just up here for the hey, view. Hey, is that Timmy? Yeah. Oh, I thought you did this years ago. Wait, what? Yeah, you've been alive this whole time? I'm pretty active on social media. Oh, I unfollowed you. Cause you- Cause I thought you were dead. Why does he think you died? Dude, sophomore year, the bathroom incident? What did you do in the bathroom? Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Damn, that's embarrassing. Oh, God. How did he get through that? Dude, I'm standing right next to you. This is just how I talk. If you sneeze and I say God bless you, the only thing you should say is thank you. 
I don't need to hear all of this. How did you get in my house? Why is my window broken? I'm calling the police. Ain't nobody got time for that. Be my first question. Are you the killer? No. Really? Yes. Killer said what? What? Got him! We got him! Guilty! Guilty! Your ex-boyfriend won't log out of your Netflix account. Here's how you're gonna get him back. Step one, you're gonna text your ex-boyfriend and ask him what he's wearing because you just booked two tickets on a summer-loving boat cruise and he's gonna need some shorts, sandals and a fun-loving attitude if he's gonna come along with you. Time to rekindle your love. Step two, you arrive at the boat, grab some pina coladas, and then look your ex-boyfriend in the eyes. You idiot. You really thought I'd want to get back with you? Boom. You then jump out your seat and boot your ex-boyfriend in the chest so hard that he flies into the Indian Ocean. You cry out the top of your lungs. Boom. And watch as a 60 foot blue whale swallows up your ex-boyfriend like a little bit of cheese. Bye bye, motherfucker. Boom. Step three, you simply go back to your ex-boyfriend's house, sign out of your Netflix account, and make your way home. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Hey, what's up, babe? Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> oh, oh, do you need me to call 911? Buddy? <laughs> no, Curtis, don't die. I love you. Like a friend. <laughs> Here's a cool little fact for you. Not only are you able to sense when somebody's staring at you, but you can also sense when they're staring at you while you're asleep. Just watch. Who are you? See, it's that easy. So nobody on your planet uses math? Nope, never heard of it. Okay. Say, what is math anyway? Well. Okay, so let me get this straight. You guys spend all day just writing these weird freaky symbols? Are you in a cult? No, it's for science. Math is the language of the universe. Well, apparently the universe had a stroke because this is nonsense. How did your kind achieve space travel without performing the necessary calculations? It's a rocket. You blow some stuff up and it shoots you into space. It's not that hard. Oh my God, you even write it on the wall like a psycho. Well, that's a whiteboard. We use it so we can teach children. You do this in front of kids? Hey, wake up. You're free to go. What? Why? Somebody bailed you out. What? But I don't... I don't even know anyone. Who the fuck are you? Emmett? Okay, Emmett, did you bail me out of jail? Yeah. Well, why? I wanted to show you my hat. You bailed me out of jail because you wanted to show me your hat. Yeah, I just bought it. Wasn't my bail like $20,000? 25. So do you like no, it? No, not really, no. Fuck. Afraid there's been a terrible accident. Your wife is dead. But she only just went out to get milk. I'm so sorry. I can't. No. No. I can't have coffee without milk, I just can't. Oh no, I just fell in love with someone I saw on the internet. Imagine an entire relationship with them. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop doing this. So if your cousin's stolen your trainers and you want to get them back, well, here's what you're gonna do. Step one, you're gonna plan a little vacation somewhere with a big f***ing mountain. Somewhere like Ben Nevis, which is a big old mountain somewhere in the UK. I don't know where it is. I don't really care where it is. You're just gonna have to figure that out and go there with your cousin. But you're also gonna bring someone else. Your grandma. What your cousin didn't realize while stealing your trainers is that you guys share the same grandma. And that innocent little grandma you share will now become a powerful tool in your plot to return your trainers. Hmm. You take your cousin and your nan to Ben Nevis. And when you get there, you plan a little picnic at the peak of the mountain. Then you and your cousin are gonna wheel your grandma to the very top of that mountain, pull out the picnic basket, ask your cousin to start preparing the sandwiches, and roll your grandma right to the very f***ing edge. You're gonna flick down your shades, turn on your Bluetooth speaker, and sing the following. Cut my life into pieces, this is my last resort. I'll push Nan off this mountain if you don't give me my trainers. Then you're just gonna sit back and relax while your cousin gives you your trainers back, jump on the back of your nan's wheelchair, and skateboard down the side of the mountain like Tony Hawk's. My trainers. Dun, dun. Hey, mom. Have you been crying? Don't worry, I just get like this when the seasons change and the uh, flowers pop up.
Oh, look, it's the ugly, stinky boy back in my garden this year. Oh, what are you going to cry and make a TikTok about it? When you and your siblings are supposed to be asleep. Yo. Beep, beep, la, boop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up! You're going to wake up, Mom! <laughs> Wait, I'm asleep! <laughs> Hey, do you know what the time is? Time to get a watch. Time to get a new joke. Time to get a girlfriend. I'M WORKING ON IT! Hey, you think you're going to sleep now? Yes, that was the idea. It's like you forgot how this works. You realize a random cat on the internet will most likely be more successful than you will ever be. How do you handcuff someone who only has one arm? Remember when you accidentally said I love you to your teacher in front of the whole class? You remember? You remember that? Yeah, I do! Oh my gosh, is that a person? That thing is definitely here to kill us. What? Oh no, it's just a coat on a hanger. Oh, my voodoo doll of mom! Yeah, totally throw, it never worked anyway. Ow! What the hell was that? Oh, keep! Ah! That is when I stole his AirPods. Shh, dude, shut the fuck up. Oh, sorry. And that's when I stole his AirPods. Whispering it doesn't change the fact you just yelled it out loud. <laughs> yes, it does. That's not how it works, dude. Watch and learn. Hey, boys, come downstairs. Dinner's ready. Mom, I lied to you about wanting to go to college. I just tell you that to make you feel better. What? You don't want to go to college? Are you serious? For three years now, you've been lying. Now, watch Are this. you actually serious? I lied yeah, to you about wanting you know, to go to college. Wrong. I just tell you that to make you feel I don't want to hear this brought up ever. That's, that's weird. I, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> what? No way! It actually worked! Pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah! Wanna give it a try? Mom, Dad's been cheating on you with Melissa. <gasps> Mom, Dad's been cheating on you with Melissa. Uh, hey, hey dude, I, I don't think it worked. Yeah, that's that's cause it didn't. Um, April Fools. Oh! Your best mate told you he'd be online later, and then just never showed up. Well. Here's how you're gonna get him back. Step one, you're gonna tell your mate that your dad has COVID. And if your mate really cares about you, he'll meet you later at the local wishing well to wish your dad back to good health. Do you want my dad to die? Step two, your mate meets you at the wishing well. You toss a little coin in, close your eyes, make some little wish. Doesn't really matter because you actually lied about your dad having COVID. And then you body slam your mate so hard that he flies over the edge and tumbles deep into the old town wishing well. Sorry about that, mate. I've accidentally smashed you into the wishing well. No need to worry. I'll just head home now and come back later with a ladder. Or will I? Will I go and get a ladder? Or will I just leave now and never come back? Just like you did when you promised to meet me online. I was waiting for hours. Well, have a good life, mate. Have a good life down in that wishing well. Hope you don't die. Bam. And step three, your mate apologizes for not coming online when he said he would, promises to meet you on Warzone later tonight. You grab him a ladder, get him out of that well, and head back home. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Say it! I don't want to. Say it! <laughs> Two best friends in a row. They might kiss. Good. <laughs> yes, we will. Now kiss. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. Kiss! <laughs> 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 Ironically, take them away! Shit. Charles, they found us. I am aware. Deploy the accents. Of course. Oui, oui. Uh -huh. Mon ami. Bonjour. Charlie. Hola. Uh -uh. Hey, don't look now, but the guy behind us has been staring at us for a while now. Who? Hey, I just said don't look. Oh, yeah. What the hell? It's reverse psychology. When I looked at him the second time, it undid when I looked at him the first time. That's not how that works. My dad used that trick when he beat me. That's, that's how it was. The second time was an apology for the first time. Okay, that's it. My dad had a weird way of expressing Se things. Seriously? Stop. This guy can't be good news. He's been staring way too long. What should we do? I say we strike him before he strikes us. Agreed. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh. Hey, what the hell? Oh. 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 No, have mercy. Oh. Wow, that was easy. Um, I think he might have been sleeping. Uh, what makes you say that? Look at his computer. Hey, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. Hey, you want to do a trust fall? Sure. All right, fall backwards. All right. Aren't you supposed to be behind me? Do you trust me? Uh, yeah. Do you I trust me?
Okay. Oh, it's a mattress. I knew I could trust it. What's that behind your ear? It's a hearing aid! What? Hey, what time is it? It's muffin time! <laughs> time of death, muffin time. The award for best sarcasm goes to this guy. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you so much. Hey, son, can you uh, take out the trash? Oh, yeah, mom, of course. Let me just uh, finish up this essay real quick. Huh, I asked you to do one thing, but it's all right. It's cool. But when I'm dead, buried, deceased, gone, you're going to miss me. I'm coming. I'm coming. What's wrong, blind Adam? Fucking Stacy. Oh no, what happened? She said it's over. Damn, man, I'm sorry. It's cool. I'll be okay. Did she say why she was breaking up with you? She sure did. W what, what was the reason? She said I'm always looking at other girls. Wait a minute. Who are you? What? Who are you calling? What are, what are you? What are you doing? Are you? Are you calling? Are you calling? What is Stacy? Uh, Stacy? Yeah. Bitch, I am blind. Honey, I'm pregnant. I can explain. I think we should just be friends. Mother. Ooh, I wonder what this does. Oh, I'm gay now. Huh. Hey, want to see an impression of my dad? Sure. I am a genie. You have three wishes. No way. Oh, I got the perfect wish. Okay. Okay, so I wish that every time I reach in my pocket, I pull out $100. All right. Yes. All right, let's see. Oh, it works. Wait, someone broke into my house. I'm calling the police. Jean was a prankster, and I'm sure we will all fondly remember her knack for practical jokes. Well, I remember this one time. Ew. Oh, Did you just fart on my you wife? On my Did you just shit on your grandmother? I'm proud of you, son. What? No, that wasn't me. I didn't fart. Oh, Grandma, you bitch. I got only four hours of sleep last night, whereas I got 13 hours of sleep last night. What's the difference? Nothing. We're both tired. Absolutely fatigued. Well, move over, idiots, because I'm you if you got the recommended amount of eight hours of sleep. And I am exhausted. Oh, I? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do at this point. Hey, you think you're going to sleep now? Yes, that was the idea. It's like you forgot how this works. You realize a random cat on the internet will most likely be more successful than you will ever be. How do you handcuff someone who only has one arm? Remember when you accidentally said I love you to your teacher in front of the whole class? You remember? You remember that? Yeah, I do! Oh my gosh, is that a person? That thing is definitely here to kill us. What? Oh no, it's just a coat on a hanger. One thing I hate is when people are like, Do you like them? Ooh, you're blushing, you do! Like, no, you cold corn dog. I'm blushing because you're embarrassing me and making me feel uncomfortable. Gosh. Listen, you lost $400 of your mother's money. She beats your ass. Then your dad beats your ass. Then you go to your room, and on top of your bed, you find a $400. Do you give it back? Listen, you lost $400 of your mother's money. She beats your ass. Then your dad beats your ass. Then you go to your room, and on top of your bed, you find a $400. Do you give it back? Hey, Mom, let me introduce you to my girlfriend. Hi, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. I, you couldn't find anything better? Hey, Mom, leave her alone, all right? I love her. Shut the fuck up! I was talking to her. <laughs> so what do you look for in a man? I don't know. I like a man who's more uncapped, maybe facial hair. Oh yeah, I definitely feel that. Most of the guys I've dated have had like red hair, so I guess that's kind of a trend. For sure, for sure. You have to be athletic. It's a huge thing for me. Absolutely, absolutely. Completely agree. But I'm pretty independent. I'm not really looking for anything right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, class, today we're going to be playing Two Truths and a Lie. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to say two things about yourself that are true and one that's not.
Oh, can I, can I go first? Oh, Brooke, you're really excited. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, these are just off the top of my head. Um, I really like strawberries. My dad picked up crack like three years ago. It drove him insane. It tore our family apart. Then he got the death penalty for killing like a bunch of people. And uh, my birthday's in May. <laughs> oh. Um. Is, is the second one alive? My birthday's in July. I want to tell him how I feel, but I have this bad habit of always getting nervous and changing the subject. Calm yourself down and then ask him if he wants to hang out this weekend. Okay, fine, yeah. Hey, Peyton, I have a question. Do you think your grandma suffered when she died? Please let me into heaven. And why should I do that? Because of what Candace said. C candace Who's Candace? W what do you mean, Candace? Candace, d in your mouth! It was a pretty good totally one. Totally worth it. Go up to your dad right now and see if you can name three of your friends. Hey, dad. Name three of my friends. He's not coming back. I know. And I don't think you have three friends. Mom! All right, all right, 10 more seconds. Come on, guys. If any of you come down, I'll make a personal promise to make your life hell. 10! Nine! Eight! Sir, did you just come down? I'm sorry, sir, I just couldn't hold it any longer. Oh, that, that's okay, we all make mistakes. Just not in my class. Now, who else wants to come down? You, sir, what's your reason for being here? Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sorry, you don't what? I, I just don't know. Well, you better know soon. No, please don't shoot me. Now answer me. Why are you doing this? I really don't know, sir. Please spare me. You better come up with an answer. I really don't know. Is it your family? Maybe. I, I don't know. Is it your friend? Maybe, sir. Is it your physical well-being? It could be. Oh, what is it, son? Speak up. I want to get to 169 pounds, sir. What? 169 pounds for the memes, sir. For the what? The memes. Everyone come down. <laughs> Aesthetic. Ah, ah. <laughs> Mommy, I drew a picture of our family. Oh, wow. Good job. I'll hang it on the fridge for Daddy to see when he's home from work. What you doing? I'm trying to tell if you can see without your glasses. Give me back my glasses. You have to tell me if you can see first. Obviously, I'm looking right at you. But, but you're not. I'm not playing these games! Now you're yelling at a chair. You wanna talk about this? Mama, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Son, don't say that. We're not gonna let this COVID take you away, alright? You, you will have to fight. Please fight for me. Okay, Mama. Alright, I'll fight for you. Thank you. What's this I hear about you missing 81 days of school? Uh-uh, don't die. Don't die. Don't Alright, son, this is a lie detector. It's gonna beep every time you're not telling the truth. So I'll ask you again, were you at school today? I already told you, Dad. Yeah, of course I was. You sure about that? Okay, okay, okay. I went and had a beer with my friends. You see, this is the kind of behavior I'm talking about. I was never drinking at your age. <laughs> well, I guess he really is your son. Honey? What the f- Okay, but- Jeremy. Where's your homework, man? Shit, um- my dog ate your homework, took my homework, and wrote all of the really bad answers on it. What? <laughs> I mean, my dog ate my homework. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> no, Jeremy, you're a fool, bro. Seriously, only he would think of some shit. If you multiply by zero... <laughs> Hi, I'm here for the job interview. Perfect, take a seat. Here's the situation. The police just entered the building, so we'll be in this room in about 30 seconds. So this is a one-time only job offer. See him? That's Bob. Bob's a piece of shit. That right, Bob. <laughs> F you, Bob. Why is he tied up? We don't have time for you to talk. Bob is our accountant. Bob is also my brother-in-law. He cheated on my sister, so he'll do whatever I tell him to. Here, Bob, draw a penis on your face. Bob also embezzled a million dollars from the government last year in tax fraud, vis-a-vis -vis cops downstairs. Now the thing is, I need Bob. I need Bob bad. I can blackmail him to do whatever I want, so I want to keep Bob around. But I still need a fall guy. Ignore them. Eyes. Right here. Here's the job. You take the fall, you go to jail for a year. Cushy jail, though, not murder jail. You play tennis, do therapy, get real good at chess, and at the end of one year, you're let out and we pay you $500,000. You got five seconds to choose. Five, four, um, three, two, one. I'll do it. One. Bingo. He's in here. Did he say yes? We got a new employee. I like your initiative, kid. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Shit, that restaurant is packed, man. Yeah, I don't think we should eat here. You wanna fucking go?!
Are you okay? Oh man, I apologize. I just have this thing where I ask if people want to leave very aggressively. I can't stop it. Huh. Yeah, man. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's nothing. Yo, bro, I just looked what? at this place's menu. It's kind of shit. Do you want to fucking go? Oh, fuck. Dude, 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 relax. It's just something that he unfortunately does whenever he asks if someone wants to leave. Oh. Yo, dudes, the bathroom in that place is broken and I really got a shit. Do you want to fucking go? What's up? Oh, bro, he's got this condition he where has he has this kind uh, of thing. He, yeah, where he, he really says does the. Uh, Do you want to fucking go? Hey man, he's got Don't a mind him. Yeah, he's for a while. Two plus two is four. My ex girlfriend is a whore, but it's cool. Ten minus seven is three. That was my age when my dad left me, but he'll be back. One plus one is two. This morning I stepped in dog poo and it sucked. Five minus four is one. My mom once said, You're not my son. That hurt. Uh, Hey class, listen up. Today we are going to be talking about the fitness gram. Hey, hey dude, dude. What? What? So yesterday I just woke up with the ability to read anyone's mind. <laughs> no way, dude. What? I swear. Just watch, watch, watch. Uh, look, Jacob over there. Watch this. Penis. Men. Gay sex. Balls. Guys. Wrestling. Soccer. <clears throat> okay, well that was no surprise. Um, uh, who wants? Who wants? Let's see. Ah, uh, what about that quiet kid? Ah, uh, yeah, Richard, Richard. Run. Run. Hey, good morning, Mom. Mom, uh, are, are you okay? Good morning, sweetie. Oh, I thought you were I thought you were mad or something. You didn't take the trash out last night. No, I didn't. Well, you're probably just tired from school. Yeah, that's true. But it's summer vacation. That is also true. We all make mistakes sometimes. Give me a hug. You're hugging a little tight, Mom. But you never took the chicken out the freezer. Dad! What's up, buddy? There's a demon under my bed. No, there's not. Would it make you feel better if I checked? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, hey, Frank. Brian? What's up, dude? Yo, I haven't seen you since I was like 10, dude. You're still working for the big man downstairs, I see. Uh, you know me, man. Listen, you mind laying off my son up there? He's a little bit of a puss puss. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. You call him your son. Yeah, he's the mailman's kid. You didn't know that? What do you mean? Yeah, dude, I was actually there. I was waiting for your daughter to come to sleep so I could scare her. But instead, I got Mrs. Moans a lot and Mailman Steve making a paper boy right above me. All right, man. All right, man. Yep, nothing there. You're good. Are you sure? Hey, Billy, you want to play Naked Twister? <laughs> hey, you must be the new guy. My name's Tom Richardson. Oh, nice to meet you, Tom. Bend over. Excuse me? Bend over. Listen, buddy, I don't just bend over for people I just met, okay? I don't even know your name. Bend over. You stay away from me, man, okay? If your leg get cut off, would it hurt? Duh. How though? Because your leg got cut off, fool. Where you gonna feel the pain? In your leg. Exactly, bro. How you gonna feel the pain in your leg if your, your leg, leg is, is gone? gone? Hey guys, welcome to our All You Can Eat Buffet. Now remember, children under the age of eight do eat for free, so... Oh, oh, it's a perfect. Okay, my son also is a uh, seven. What? Dad, I'm 23. Yes, sir, your son is clearly an adult Asian man. My son is a seven, okay? Ask him. Ask him if he's a seven. Okay, um, are you seven? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm seven. Uh, he he free, okay? Yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck the job. Did you know that you are more likely to enjoy a TV show if it's based on something that you don't have? With that said, I want to talk about one of my favorite TV shows. Hey, hey, dad died. <laughs> His hair. But dad's bald. His arm hair. Oh, and, and mom's leaving him. <laughs> Go out with his college buddies tonight. He hasn't seen them in ages. Okay. Oh, and, and your ex-girlfriend texted me. <laughs> what? She's been missing for six years. Well, they found her. Dead. <laughs> oh, and I nearly forgot. I'm going to jail tomorrow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> to visit Uncle Bob. Oh. Yeah, they're giving him the lethal injection on Monday. What? What? Why? Do you not remember? You replaced all the water in the house with poison. <laughs> that only kicks in when you spit it out. <laughs> Seven times. Officer, please, I need your help. Hi, sir, what's the emergency? My son has gone missing. Okay, sir, what's his name? Sir? Hello, sir. Sir, what's his name? Sir, I need to know your son. Shut up, I'm thinking. Are you winning, son? I am always winning, Dad. Nani? Hello, winning. I'm Dad. Bruh, you remember our third grade teacher, Miss Jackson? 
Uh, yeah, I remember her. Remember every beginning of the class, she'd be saying, here you go, baby, and she'd be giving us candy. I remember them days. She was so sweet. But remember how she'd be helping us on all the tests and everybody in the classroom passed? That's the reason why I passed third grade. She was so helpful. And, uh, remember at every time at the end of school, if we didn't have a ride, she always takes us home, but on our way home, we'd be getting McDonald's. Ooh, I remember that. She was so, boy, she was like a mother to me. Boy, I love her. But guess what, though? What? She did. Why you had to do all that? All right, Simp Nation, that is it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, you already know. Go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, hit it real nice and good for me. Come on, hit it. I'm waiting. You just watched my entire 10 minute video and you're not gonna hit the like button. Tyler. Tyler Martin. Hit the like button. Impossible. We have your family, Tyler. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We snatched them in the middle of the night while you were sleeping, Tyler. Oh, that's not true. You never noticed. Mom! Now hit the like button. <laughs> Imagine if there's actually someone named Tyler Martin watching this right now. That would be crazy. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed Mommy, guess what? I just got my first period. Honey, that's ridiculous. Boys don't get periods. Oh yeah? Well then why is there blood coming out my ass? <coughs> you know, it's probably the gerbil we put in there. The fucking what? Hey, Dad, I was just wondering if you wanted to go outside and toss around the... Hey, Dad, I was just uh, wondering if you wanted to go outside and play some catch. You got this. You got this. Sorry, bit. Sorry, buddy. I'm just really busy right now. I'd love to, buddy. Sorry, but I'm just really busy right now. Oh shit! That's a dope ass fucking car, bro. How much is it? I don't knew. New? That's not how you say it. Then how do you say it then? It's I don't knowing. Bro, it's not I don't knew or I don't knowing. Then what is it then? I don't know. You fucking dumbass. If you didn't know, shut the fuck up then. I am a genie. You have three wishes. Wow, I have the perfect wish. So this is my girlfriend and she's blind, but we've been together a long time and I just wish she could see the world. So I wish my girlfriend could see. You know what? That's a pretty good wish. Done. Wow. Well, wait, Gabe, that's what you look like? <laughs> You are not my type. Ooh, he's cute though. What's your name? Hi, I'm the genie. I'm Katie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are you doing later? Hey, boss. Uh, I was just wondering, am I getting that promotion we've been talking about? Oh, Steve, I, of course. You're my best employee. Steve's definitely not getting that promotion. What? What? You, you just looked at the wall and said I wasn't getting the promotion. <laughs> no, I didn't. I totally just did that. Oh, uh, you did it again. Did what again? Okay, now you're just playing dumb and it's really pissing me off. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, I did. And if Steve's pissed off about this, he wouldn't want me to tell him about me eating his lunch. <laughs> what? You're the one who ate my lunch? How many other things have you not told me? Nothing. I, I swear, that's it. That's definitely not it. I was also the one who wrote that's what abortion is for in his truck after his son came out as a furry. You wrote that's what abortion is for in my truck? Seriously? Go ahead. Tell me something else. I guess I shouldn't tell him about how I slept with his wife, either. <laughs> and remember, kids, if anyone harasses you, you just say, Stop it. I don't like it. And that's the end of that. Stop it. I don't like it. All right. Then stop it. I don't like it. I'll see you in class tomorrow, guys. Give me all your fucking money. Give me all your fucking money now. Stop it. I don't like it. Uh, you're lucky you know that one. Not, not everyone knows that one, you know? You're lucky. Oh, Jesus, thank fuck. Grandpa, Grandpa! What's that, Sonny? I found a nickel on the ground. Well, that's just wonderful. Remember to put it in your piggy bank. I also found a key buried in your backyard. Oh, uh, well, don't pay no mind to that key. Uh, Grandpa doesn't know anything about that. And then I found an abandoned shed that the key unlocks. Oh, uh, that, that sure is strange.
And then I went in the shed, and I found a hidden door that leads underground. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be doing that now. And then I found a shotgun, and a bunch of skeletons, and one of them had grandma's clothes on it. I miss grandma. Uh, me, me too. Crazy how she just uh, disappeared like that. <laughs> and then there was one guy that looked all tired and hungry, and he begged me for help. Well, what'd you do? I shot him. Well, that's just wonderful. Everybody down, this is a stick up. Hey boss, this old lady isn't getting down. Take her out. But boss, she's just an old lady. I said take her out. I'm having a wonderful time. Sir, what about this kid? Take him out. Wee. Boss, what about this baby? Take him out. I'm the baby. We got 155, 60, 160, 165, 165, we got 165, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, one hundred. That's the number of times I had intercourse with your mother. Yo, what the hell? When did he say that? Another fifty. One hundred and fifty dollars. Seven three seven two four nine. Those are the U.S. nuclear launch codes. I used to work at Area Fifty One. This is true. Hey, yo, what? Why would he do that? Why would he do that? We easily attained the information. Anybody could have done that. All right, that's my time. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Oh, and by the way, you? Yes, you. Recording this? Yeah, I stole your car. Yeah, your dumbass left it unlocked with the keys in it. No! 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 We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Say please. Please. Please what? Please come out with your hands up. Pretty please. This is degrading. Just say it. Pretty please come out with your hands up. With cherries on top? Pretty please, with cherries on top, come out with your hands up. Say thank you. Say sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hey yo, you think we killed everybody? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. I don't know. What about this one? Shit, he looked dead to me. We gotta make sure he is. Hey, tickle his feet, cuz. What? Tickle his feet. Are you serious right now? No, I'm serious, bro. Just tickle his feet. Trust me. All right, man. He alive. No, wait. Hey, wait, shoot wait, his wait. A father was listening to his daughter pray. God bless mommy. God bless daddy. God bless grandma. Goodbye, grandpa. Honey, why did you say goodbye, grandpa? I don't know, daddy. It just felt right. The next day, her grandpa dies, and the father just thought it was a strange coincidence. A week later, the dad was listening to his daughter pray again. God bless mommy. God bless daddy. Goodbye, grandma. The next day, the grandma died. The father started thinking, wow, my daughter must be very special. A week later, he was listening to his daughter pray again. God bless mommy. Goodbye, daddy. He started freaking out and couldn't sleep all night. He left early and went to his office. He was nervous all day and kept watching the clock. He felt safe in his office and figured if he could make it to midnight, he would be okay. Once it hit midnight, he went home. When he went home, his wife said, I've never seen you work so late. What's the matter? I had the worst day of my life. Yeah, well, my day was worse. The mailman dropped dead on our porch. Honey, just kill it. It's a spider. He's looking at me right now. We are making eye contact. Take your shoe off and whack it with your shoe. Honey, he can hear you. He can understand what's going on. He is hyper aware of what's going on right now. Don't be dramatic, dear. It's a spider. Stay back. Stay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to scare you. Honey, just kill it. You don't understand what's going on, okay? Please, Mrs. He... Please don't kill me. British. I have 300 children and another 169 on the way. I, I'm not sure if that makes me want to kill you more or kill you less. Please don't squish me. I'm a simple spider. Are you seriously talking to the spider? You have no idea what's going on, okay? He's a... Shit. Holy shit! Honey, there's a huge spider in here! Please, mister. I have 300 children. Is it a pistol? Oh, God! 
Top six ways to tell your friend you're in love with them. Number one, take him for a drive. This way the setting is just you and him and the intimacy is at an all time high. What's, what's going on? Ask him to create something with you, whether it's a video, a TikTok, a song, any sort of creative thing will get the juices flowing. I don't, I don't, what, what's going on? Number five, when the scene is set, it's time to make your move. Just go for it. Put all the balls on the table and just go for it. Hey, whoa, hey, Max, what are you, hey? And just like that, you're in love because it worked. Because it worked. What's your problem? No problem. That's my problem. And what's the problem? I'm a problem solver. I need a problem to solve. Okay, your finances. Did you solve that? Oh, yeah. No problem. Okay, well, do you get enough sleep at yeah. night? No major insecurities? Yeah. You're happy with your family yeah. life? You're healthy? It, done. I've solved all of those. Well, you've solved all your basic problems. Now you need fulfillment. But I got my fulfillment solving the basic problems. Then why aren't you fulfilled? Because I ran out of problems. Well, that's problematic. Well, probably. No, definitely. That is a problem to solve. What is? Having no problem to solve. Well, how do I solve the problem of having no problems? Well, that's not my problem. It, what's your problem? All right, and before you give me any of your wishes, I've heard it all. Don't wish for more wishes. I don't want to bring anyone back from the dead. And I can't kill anybody, okay? That's it? Those are your only rules? Why are you saying it like that? Yes, those are my only rules. No, no, no reason. No reason at all. What are you writing down? What are you doing? What's going on here? I'm just making a list of some things that I want. That's like seven things already. I told you, don't wish for more wishes. I'm not wishing for more wishes. Um, so I wish that everything on this piece of paper would come true. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Hi there, were you ready to order? Hi, uh, I'll just have the usual, thanks. Do I know you? No, okay, yeah, I didn't think so. So then why the fuck would I know what the usual is for you? It's on the menu, it says it's just a chicken sandwich with roasted red peppers and spice. Oh, I'm I am so sorry. I completely forgot that's what we called that. No, okay. it, that's okay. Great. So Don't worry about it. And what did you want to drink with that? Uh yeah, I'll have whatever it takes to get you out of my face. Excuse excuse me? What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> no, it's on the it's on the menu. It says it's just a water with lemon. Oh gosh, I am so sorry. I keep no, it's, forgetting. It's okay. Do not make any sudden movements. Do not reach for that gun on that table, because I know you're tempted. And if you comply, I will not harm you. And then I'll comply. Okay, all right, that's good. That's especially good for you, because, I mean, my aim and my reflexes are impeccable. Must have, must have been a draft. There's no windows in here. Some sort it's of not even windy out paranormal there. activity. I know you reached for the gun, man. That's not true. Who do you think you're dealing with, okay? My mom told me. My dad owns Microsoft. Your family will never... Ah! 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 Are we going to talk about what that was? I had, had a seizure. Oh, my God. Here we go with the lies again. You didn't have a seizure, all right? I saw something behind you. Oh, come on. You couldn't even see behind me. What are you talking I about? I was just Stop lying. handing you the gun. Handing me the gun? You were pulling the trigger. You, you, you were you trying to shoot me. You were trying hand. to kill me. Why, why do I even put up with it? You're just, like, so me. Me. Your house cleaner has stolen your sister's AirPods. Here's how you're going to get them back. Step one, you're going to call your cleaner. You want to ask her to come around at about 8 p.m. for an evening cleaning session. Tell her that you covered your ass in shit and that you plan on doing a bagpipe practice rehearsal so she should bring some headphones. Or in this case, some airpods step two when she arrives invite her in as normal let her walk through the hallway a little bit and then silently lock the door behind her so she has no escape then an hour or so into the cleaning session you're gonna cut the lights and cut the electricity and now the games begin step five you're gonna run through the house screaming from room to room banging on the walls smashing the windows and smashing every glass in sight until bang you crawl up to her legs in the pitch black like a fucking spider and you just latch onto her ankle she won't know what the fuck's happening you're gonna make her feel like she's trapped inside a black vortex from hell and then bang, she'll probably just pass out from fear. You grab your AirPods and you send her off home. Sorry, girl. You should have never stole the AirPods. Justice has been served. Dum dum. Hey, mom. Have you been crying? Don't worry. I just get like this when the seasons change and the uh, flowers pop up. Oh, look, it's the ugly, stinky boy back in my garden this year. Oh, what are you going to cry? Make a TikTok about it. Thanks for watching the kids, ma. 
Да, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Oh, and I saw on the television today that there's a man with a mustache running around flashing people, so keep an eye out. Really? Here? Well, not in this city, but you never know. Okay, goodbye, Ma. Don't trust anyone with a mustache. <coughs> Hello, my little tortellinis. How are you? I have to go to the bathroom. All right, go ahead. <coughs> not right here. Go to the bathroom. Okay. So what's with you two? I am in love with your beautiful intellectual granddaughter. Oh, wow. Well. well, I don't know about intellectual because she just tried to shit her pants right here, but that's adorable. What about you? I am in love with an older woman. Oh, I've been there. Back in high school, my first love was a senior and I was a junior, but I was too chicken to say anything, so take Nona's advice and go for it. Okay, I will. Good. You got a picture of her? Ba. Let's see ya, huh? Oh, dear God, I retract my statement. Oh my god, he's dead. <gasps> There's only one man that can solve this crime. Damn it. Oh no, what a bummer. I always like to say, it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. Hey Phil, did you take a shit on my kitchen floor? Yeah, yeah I did. And I'm sorry. See what I did there? Who the fuck are you talking to? Hey, dude, tell me a scary story. What? No. Come on, please. Did I hear scary story? Who the hell are you? Just a man who would like to share a scary story with two young boys. Okay, go ahead. It goes like this. Two boys were sitting alone at night talking about scary stories. Wow, that sounds familiar. All of a sudden, a strange man walked up to them and asked them if he could tell a scary story. Very familiar. Unfortunately, this man was a convicted felon. What? But the boys forgot to bring their phones that night. And after the man was done telling his story, he pulled out his weapon. Boom! Boom! They could have survived that night. If only they would have brought their mobile devices like their dad told them to. Bring your phone next time. All right. Hey, you boys have fun. Gun to your head, what are your last words? Yes! 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 Oh my god, yes! Finally, bitch! Finally! So I ask you this, Your Honor. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> but that doesn't quite add up. Why would the chicken need to cross the road? It has no motive. Unless, the chicken is the killer. <gasps> oh, I see you found my gift. What? You put the spider there? Why? You said you were constipated, right? Yeah. And that spider scared the out of you, didn't it? Well, yeah, and I think a little more. You're welcome. Go get it out of there. You, you didn't squash it? I'm sorry, I was too busy pooping out half my intestines when I saw that thing. It literally caught me while my pants was down. You put it there, you get it out. Give me my weapon. The napkin. Got him. Dude, we lived on the second floor. You really had to burn down the whole building? Couldn't risk it. That spider saw my face. And they did all of that for a dollar, dude. It's crazy what people will do for money, man. I know, man. Don't even think about it. Whoa, hey, hey, come on, man. That's, that's my dollar. Like hell it is. I've had my eyes on that dollar for a solid 17 seconds. <laughs> 17? Try 18 and a half. Well, it doesn't matter, okay? I have the firepower in this situation. Are you sure about that? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Think again. Shadow Clone. <laughs> now I have the upper hand and a free dollar. <laughs> Check again. Impossible! <laughs> Sorry, bud, but that's my dollar. What, are you gonna kill me if I try to take it? Yep, that would be the plan. Well, how are you planning on killing me? In a dream! 